YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today, Nick and I are fishing and we are going after some cutthroat. Hopefully some large cutthroat. If not, hopefully just any fish in general would be great. We are fishing a big, beautiful river today and I have my fly rod. Let me show you what I have on before we head to the water. I have you can see there, that is a Sally girl. You see that Sally girl? We got a Sally girl with a sad little prince nymph that I tied. I did not tie the Sally, but I did tie this prince. So I have a little hopper dropper set up and we went and checked out the water and there are beautiful holes. So I think we're pretty much ready to go. right in front of us here. It's nice and deep behind this rock. And then across, it looks like a super nice cut bank. Nick loves his cut banks. If Nick could be a fishing hole, I think he would be a cut bank and I would be a little pool behind a rock like this. So whatever that means. That's a nice fish. Whoa. Nice work. On to the next hole. Not gonna lie, I just walked, that wasn't even that far. 100 yards in the water. It's hard. It's hard to walk upstream in your sandals. A little bit further. There are fish that keep rising over here, and they've hit, I think, Nick's lure, what, four times? This is the third fly change that I've had in the past, like, 15 minutes. I tried a purple body parachute Adams. I caught a cutthroat on that yesterday. They wanted nothing to do with it. They were rising all around it, but they weren't actually hitting this guy. So now I'm changing to a big old hopper. We have had luck with cutthroat, with picky cutthroat on a big old hopper before. And I am putting a nymph on. So fingers crossed that they like something that I throw at them because they're there and they're hungry and they're eating. We just need to figure out what it is. So this, these are the times that you get really good at tying knots because you just keep changing out your fly until you find something that they like. Oh, nice. It is a little cutty. <laughs> Look at that! It's my first grayling ever. That was cool. Woohoo! That was cool. Not oh my god! Maybe that's why they're acting funny, because they're grayling. Grayling on a dry fly. Holy sh. So Nick just caught his grayling on this guy, so I just put some more floating on it. 
my turn to try and make some magic happen. Oh, I love this reel. That looks like a big one. so incredible. Nick caught a beautiful rainbow. We caught some cutthroat and a grayling all within a couple hours and a couple hundred yards of each other. This little guy, this dark bodied parachute Adams is doing phenomenal. And the sun's about down, and I'm freezing, but I don't even Keep care. Keep fishing, they're biting like crazy. I was crazy. gonna say. That's all they're eating is that teeny tiny black body. Yeah, I'm getting cold too. I know. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I think that's what it is. Cause that one I missed over there by that big rock, I said that was like the dumbest, slowest dry flight eat I've ever seen in my life. I watched it come out of the bottom, miss it, and then just like sink. Didn't even swim away. I was trying to dry the fly off because it was sinking a little bit. So sometimes if you like wave your rod back and forth, It'll dry them off a little bit. And then I just had a bad cast. That's so funny. So Nick just reached up to grab my fly out of the tree. And look what he pulled out. It's almost the exact same thing that we're fishing right now. Except the body's green instead of like a dark brown. He just got a new fly. It looks like a green drake. I like laugh too hard it'll fly off. Ooh, there's a bone. Woohoo! That was so cool! That was so much fun. So I think all in all we caught maybe five fish ish, four or five. We definitely had more hits and we missed a lot. They're definitely eating something that we don't have. So if we had the right fly, we would be absolutely crushing them because they were rising one after another. It was awesome. Regardless, that was so just incredible. I mean, Nick caught a grayling. What? Grayling, rainbow, and cutthroat. It's awesome. So we're headed back to the Tapui. We're camping out tonight. I just need to change my clothes. I'm freezing. Yeah, not having waiters sucks. Yeah, I think, well, it's fun during the day, but in the evening like this, after the sun goes down, my feet are numb and frozen and, oh, yeah, If we had waiters, I'd still be fishing. I know. But anyways, that is it, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video because we had a lot of fun making it. And that's it. I will see you guys in the next one.